Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore ultrasound imaging in radio diagnosis. Ultrasound imaging uses a transducer or probe to generate sound waves and produce pictures of the body's internal structures. It does not use ionizing radiation, has no known harmful effects and provides a clear picture of soft tissues that don't show up well on X-ray images. Ultrasound is often used to help diagnose unexplained pain, swelling and infection. It may also be used to provide imaging guidance to needle biopsies or to see and evaluate conditions related to blood flow. It's also the preferred imaging method for monitoring a pregnant woman and her unborn child. It's also used to help guide biopsies, diagnose heart conditions, and assess damage after a heart attack. Ultrasound is safe, non-invasive, and does not use ionizing radiation. The technologist applies a small amount of gel to the area under examination and places the transducer there. The gel allows sound waves to travel back and forth between the transducer and the area under examination. The ultrasound image is immediately visible on a video display screen that looks like a computer monitor. The computer creates the image based on the loudness, amplitude, pitch, frequency, and time it takes for the ultrasound signal to return to the transducer. Doppler ultrasound is a special ultrasound technique that evaluates movement of materials in the body. It allows the doctor to see and evaluate blood flow through arteries and veins in the body. If a Doppler ultrasound study is performed, you may actually hear pulse-like sounds that change in pitch as the blood flow is monitored and measured. Color Doppler uses a computer to convert Doppler measurements into an array of colors to show the speed and direction of blood flow through a blood vessel. Power Doppler is a newer technique that is more sensitive than color Doppler and capable of providing greater detail of blood flow, especially when blood flow is little or minimal. Power Doppler, however, does not help the radiologist determine the direction of blood flow, which may be important in some situations. Spectral Doppler displays blood flow measurements graphically in terms of a distance traveled per unit of time, rather than as a color picture. It can also convert blood flow information into a distinctive sound that can be heard with every heartbeat. Ultrasound is a useful way of examining many of the body's internal organs, including but not limited to the heart and blood vessels, liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, kidneys, bladder, uterus, ovaries, an unborn child, eyes, thyroid and parathyroid glands, scrotum, testicles, brain in infants, hips in infants, spine in infants. Ultrasound diagnose a variety of heart conditions, including valve problems and congestive heart failure, and to assess damage after a heart attack. Ultrasound of the heart is commonly called an echocardiogram or echo for short. Doppler ultrasound images can help the physician to see and evaluate blockages to blood flow, such as clots, narrowing of vessels, tumors and congenital vascular malformations, reduced or absent blood flow to various organs, such as the testes or ovary, increased blood flow, which may be a sign of infection, Advancements in ultrasound technology include three-dimensional 3D ultrasound that formats the sound wave data into 3D images. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck.